Finally tonight, one of the Israeli military's biggest targets is a top Hamas leader in Gaza who's accused of being a mastermind behind the October 7th assault. Brian Todd takes a closer look at his background. One of Israel's top targets, the man they call the face of evil, Yahya Sinwar, Hamas's highest ranking leader inside Gaza. Top Israeli officials have sounded very confident in recent days that they'll kill him saying their forces have encircled his house in southern Gaza. His house is not his fortress and he can escape, but it's only a matter of time until we get him. Without elaborating, Israeli officials say they believe Sinwar is underground. Such is the existence of the 61-year-old who's imprinted his hatred of Israel into the identity of Hamas. Analysts say as one of Hamas's top masterminds of the October 7th attacks, Yahya Sinwar to Israel is what bin Laden is to the United States. And like Americans went after bin Laden and eventually got him, I think the Israelis will do the same, and this war will not end until they get Sinwar. Sinwar joined Hamas in his 20s. Arrested by the Israelis for the murders of two Israeli soldiers and four Palestinians, he spent 23 years in an Israeli prison, learned Hebrew, and it was during that period that the Israelis actually saved his life. A tumor was discovered in his head. Israeli doctors operated on him, took the tumor out, and he survived. Michael Kuby, a former officer of Israel's Shin Bet security agency, says he interrogated Yahya Sinwar for a total of about 180 hours. Kuby says he knows Sinwar better than Sinwar's own mother and describes him as the cruelest man he ever met, known to use a machete to kill Palestinians who were suspected of collaborating with Israeli intelligence. I asked him, you are now 28, 29, and how come he's not married? How come he doesn't want a family? So he told me the Hamas is my wife, the Hamas is my child, the Hamas for me is everything. Sinwar was among more than a thousand Palestinian prisoners released in 2011 in exchange for captured Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit. Just last year, he seemed to warn Israel what was coming. We will come to you, God willing, in a roaring flood. We will come to you with an endless number of rockets. We will come to you in a flood of soldiers without limit. We will come to you with millions of our nation. Analysts say the man who survived an Israeli assassination attempt in 2021 won't be easy to kill this time either. If there's someone who's passing on information to the Israelis, he usually knows who they are and he takes them out before the Israelis get to him. Analyst Hussein Abdul Hussein says if and when the Israelis eliminate Yahya Sinwar, it's unlikely that whoever might try to fill those shoes will be as brutal as Sinwar. But even if it's someone more moderate, he says, it really won't matter given how determined that Israel is to take out all of Hamas's leadership.